Hey everyone, this is Andrew from The First Fret Lessons and this is Big River by great Johnny Cash. It's one of his early classics and he used to play it live on almost every show. There are a lot of different live versions, album versions, but uh, I'm gonna teach you how to play the original one from the 50s. All right, let's go. In the original, Johnny plays it with a capo on the first frets and that's how I played it in the beginning of this lesson, but for the sake of convenience we're going to learn it in standard tuning. So this song is played in the E, intro sounds like this. So you are basically holding an E chord and this is what you do. You start on the fifth string. then 2nd fret on the 6th string and you can bend it just a little bit don't do it like this although it may sound cool sometimes but just slide bends or you can play just a regular note and then open E string then we're going to play G chord 3 times but only its bass notes don't play it like this I mean, if you're playing it fast, you may do something like this, but uh, not in this version. So, and you go back right into an E chord. Uh, you can also play just uh, third string, like this. However, I play this too. And there are two different ways to play it. You can mute. It sounds to me like uh, whoever is playing the guitar in the original recording is muting them. Like this. Or you can just leave it open. All right, so we play it two times. And... Then we go into a singing. So what do you play during the verse? Uh, basically just classic boom chicka boom beat. E chord, bass on the sixth string, down up. Fifth string, down up. If you are a beginner, at first it may be a tricky, but just get used to it. Practice slowly. Just remember, you have to lose your pick a little bit when you are strumming, because uh, if you keep it tight, it will sound like this, not too good. You play bass note, then you loosen up a little bit, and... It sounds good like this. And when you play down up strum, try to aim for the high strings. Don't play it like this. Don't play each and every string, it will sound bad. Bass, high notes, bass, high notes. This is how it's done. Okay, so the singing starts and it goes like this. Now I taught the whip and willow how to cry. You play this thing again. And I showed the clouds how to cover up the clear. When? He goes to the clear blue sky, you play an F sharp chord. F sharp, you can play it like a bar chord, like this, or with your thumb. It doesn't really matter. So, I told the whip and willow how to cry. And I showed the cloud how to cover up a And we go into a B chord. There are two ways you can play B chord also, you can play it like this or B7. Choose whatever you like. Then we go back to an E chord. As the tears I cry for that woman, I'm gonna flood. Then A chords. 
However, you can do this uh, little cool bass. This classic country Johnny Cash lick. And the tears I cry for that woman. I'm gonna flood you big river. You play a little bit different pattern on an A chord and B. First you play 5th string, down up and then 6th string. So. It goes like this. And the tears are right for that woman. And then. You got an E chord. B chord and then you go back into this. Okay, uh, let's play the whole verse from the beginning. This is basically the whole song. However, we got the solo. We are going to combine the rhythm parts, which we already know, with some riffs. This is how it goes. Uh, you know the beginning already. It's exactly the same. Then we play the same thing, but uh, from the D string. And we go into an A chord. Then back to E. Then. This little lick on the B chord. And then back into an A chord. Really simple, really easy. So this is how it goes. One, two. So, this is Big River for you. If you enjoyed this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment, you will help us a lot. Alright, see you next time, bye bye.